we have an extraordinary and beautiful story we want to share. It's being called the real life wonder. Now, Nathaniel Newman was born with a rare disorder, but much like the child at the center of the book and new movie Wonder, ABC's Elizabeth Vargas spent years with Nathaniel and his family for a very special hour of 2020. It airs tonight, and Elizabeth is good enough. She has an inspiring message of love and acceptance. Wonderful to have you here for this, Elizabeth. It's great to be here, Robin. The parallels between Nathaniel Newman and the book Wonder are incredibly striking. The book is a phenomenon. It has sold 5 million copies worldwide, translated into 45 languages. But for the Newman family, this story is a personal one of courage and of kindness and the ability to see the beauty in everyone. They are the terrifying words no parents to be ever want to hear after nearly 17 hours of labor. They finally come in and say, look, we gotta get this kid out. He's showing some signs of distress and then our life changed forever. Tell me what you saw. <sighs> it didn't look like a human being. It didn't look like a human being. He didn't look like a person. It was that different. For New Yorkers Magda and Russell Newman, the birth of their son Nathaniel was not a scene of happiness, but one of horror. They didn't want to show it to me. They didn't they want to show They were scared to baby. show me. I, I think they were scared at first because he had no cheekbones and no upper lower eyelids, just completely disfigured. Nathaniel's condition was caused by an extremely rare genetic syndrome called Treacher Collins. It affects just one in 50,000 people. Nathaniel was born without cheekbones, eye sockets, or ears. He would spend the first month of his life in the neonatal intensive care unit and the Newman's journey as a family was just beginning. We've never done cosmetic surgery on Nathaniel. Everything we've done his whole life has had some benefit to life function. By age 11, Nathaniel had undergone 53 surgeries. The Newmans had relocated to Reno, Nevada after Russ got a new job, and that is where I met Nathaniel for the first time. Nice to meet you, buddy. I'm curious, when you realized Hey, my face is different from other people's faces. Uh, one of the first kids called monster. A kid called you a monster? Yeah. That must have hurt your feelings. Yeah, and then I realized that they don't do it to anybody else, so I was different. Different, but still a kid. So to ease the transition of starting at a new middle school, the Newmans came up with a plan to send letters to Nathaniel's classmates. My name is Nathaniel Newman, and I am 12 years old. I am different. I, I don't like want you to be surprised, surprised when we meet. I have three dogs. I like Pokemon a lot, as well as Star Wars. I really just want you to treat me like everyone else. Nathaniel's story is strikingly similar to the one in the book that has become a worldwide phenomenon. It's wonder the fictional story of a little boy named Augie Pullman, who looks a lot like Nathaniel Newman. We incorporate the book Wonder into the welcome letters. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you might have read... read the book Wonder if you have, then you already know a little bit about me. That book is single-handedly making life easier for children with facial differences. It's just a fact. <laughs> and to Nathaniel the night he was born, telling him they would not hide him from the world, and they haven't. Mm -hmm. Their parents uh, have always taken him out. It has not been an easy journey for them, but we followed them for two and a half years wow. through Nathaniel's first day at middle school mm -hmm. and through an incredibly grueling, uh, rare, and risky surgery that he underwent to help him be able to breathe better, get rid of that trach tube in his throat. And the show tonight is really for the entire family. It is. And speaking of family, you read the book with your two boys. That's right. When the book came out in 2012, I read it to my kids, mm -hmm. and it was one of my favorite bedtime books that I've read to them. And then a couple of years later, my mom emailed me and forwarded me, and forwarded me an email from a woman in her book club saying, has Elizabeth heard of the book Wonder? Because I have the real life Wonder Boy in my class. She was a fifth grade oh, wow. teacher. Wow. And that's how I found the story. We pitched it and followed them for two years. It's been an incredible journey, really amazing. Now, I was surprised learning that Nathaniel's parents were surprised yeah. when he was born. They had no idea. Most parents of Treacher Collins babies have no idea. 
you might be surprised by that now with all the 3D ultrasounds and things like that. But when Nathaniel was born, those ultrasounds weren't as commonplace. And Magda, his mom, was 24 years old. She's a mm. fitness buff in incredible health. Uh, they all thought, you know, she would be fine. There was very little prenatal testing. And you mentioned it. The surgery he had is revolutionary. Yes, this is a very rare and risky surgery. Uh, Nathaniel's mom calls it barbaric, and it actually, in many ways, is. It was almost too much mm. Um, mm. to see what he went through, but he couldn't breathe. It, for him, going through life was like breathing through a soda straw, which is why he had wow. to have a trach tube. And you can't, it so limits you. So they needed to get that trach out. And in order to do that, they had to rearrange the bones in his face. And we're along with oh. the whole family, with Nathaniel's, yeah. they go through this. It had to be so incredibly painful. It is, but it's just, I've got to tell you, you know, the, the message from the book Wonder is choose kindness. Mm. Um, when, you know, when, when you have the choice, confronted with the choice between being right and being kind, choose kind. Mm. And that is really the theme of Nathaniel Newman's life and of our special tonight, which mm. is something I think, you know, this book means a lot to a lot of families in this country. And you were very kind too, my friend, because you arranged a special meeting. I did, yes. a big surprise with Christina Aguilera for the family. It was, oh. I gotta tell you, they were, because her song Beautiful was playing on the Grammys the night that Nathaniel was born. I wanna make sure people heard what you said. The song Beautiful was playing on the Grammys the night Nathaniel was born. They were in their hospital room, sobbing, crying. Yeah. They saw the song, gave them the courage to walk down the hall and hold Nathaniel for the first time. Wow. Yeah. Chills. I guess you're giving out chills and a few chills when you see that first day of school yeah. tonight, huh? You might want to watch the box of Kleenex. <laughs> but like I said, George, works with your daughters. It's a really great show for the whole family. Cannot wait to do it. All of you can see Nathaniel's story on a special 2020. That's tonight at 10 Eastern right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.